Supervisor of the Community Awareness Series, or CAS. We are the cultural department for the Jersey City Free Public Library, and as of the end of October 2022, we've celebrated 45 years of programming like this. Uh, for those that know that the Community Awareness Series came out of a wonderful jazz band back in 1975, the Spirit of Life Ensemble. I 
I do also uh, want to mention, I, I'm going to go give the uh, library things coming up before we get started into the wonderful program. And hello to Jersey City Free Public Library staff that came out today. Barbara Morell is here. <laughs> on June 3rd, uh, we are showing a documentary on Carmine to Bone. If you don't know who that name is, Carmine was the former director and the founder of the educational arts team. Uh, also ran Camp Liberty in Liberty State Park. Unfortunately, he's now retired. Jersey City misses him very much, but his legacy uh, in Jersey City still very much lives on. So a documentary uh, was put together about the power of arts and theater inclusion into education. So uh, we very much honor his 47, 48 years of dedication and education in Jersey City. So that's going to be Saturday, June 3rd at our Five Corners branch just above Journal Square at 3 p.m. Uh, so hopefully you can make it to that. It's a very powerful documentary on, on Carmine's uh, legacy in education. We are gearing up, we're not too far off from it. June uh, 17th is our annual African Cultural Arts Family Festival, which is co-sponsored by CAS, the library, the city, and a whole bunch of hosts of other organizations. And this is gonna be the 10th annual uh, of the African Cultural Arts Family Festival. So the people like Barbara Williams, Naoud, Sam Pesson, uh, Tony Goodson, Jerome Choice, uh, a lot of hard work goes into this, but we hope that you come out on that day. And we're also doing our Juneteenth commemoration, which you know now is a national holiday, although it could have been a national holiday a long time ago, right? But we are honoring that, we're celebrating that as well. The big thing for this is we are here honoring the life, legacy, uh, and truly a commitment to civil rights, human rights, and uh, in my mind, I don't, I don't think it gets as much play as some of the others. Martin is important, and so many others are important, but Malcolm is also one of the big players of the civil rights movement. So we are here to honor Malcolm X. <laughs> and there's some information and some literature on the back table there if you'd like to take it home. Uh, Malcolm once said, human rights are something you were born with. Human rights are your God-given rights. Human rights are the rights that are recognized by all nations on this earth. So we should remember that. We should try to live by that. We should respect each other. We should show kindness to each other. And we need it now more than ever. Please. Yeah. Yeah. I do also want to mention uh, the president of the Friends of Liberty State Park, Sam Pesson, the mighty Sam Pesson. <laughs> As we are struggling for a better world, environmental justice advocate, juggernaut. I'd also like to welcome back, good to see you again, Yogi Rosario, one of Jersey City's premier percussions. We're glad to be here again. And so with that, we're going to get on with the show, and we're going to introduce Miss Antoinette Montague. Antoinette Montague is an esteemed, award-winning jazz and blues singer and entertainer who has performed internationally as a cultural ambassador for the U.S. Department of State. She is a radio host and an educator. Ms. Montague was mentored by renowned artists such as Carrie Smith and Etta Jones, and her latest CD is World Peace in the Key of Jazz. With that, we're going to go on the show. The great Art Blakey once said, any place where jazz is playing is a sacred place. So we thank you for coming to church today. So since we're in church, everybody stand up. Everybody stand up. Put your hands together for the queen of the blues and jazz from Newark, New Jersey, the one and only.
Focus on your dreams. Go 
that all right?
we went high to our touch, it was not just one two. Give this gentleman a round of applause. He teaches our young guys to teach the fire. The difference is you, you, you. Y'all, the difference to you, you, you. And the difference is you. Malcolm loved, did you know that he loved Dinah Washington? <laughs> Dinah's music and hung out with folks. You know. Listen, he had a transformation and then he still listened to love music. You know, he liked to listen to the Muslim Brothers, etc. So we created the call to worship was the very first thing that you heard. So I kept hearing it and I asked Maestro Danny Mixon to put your ear on this and let's create something. Something that reflects what Malcolm believed most was his faith in his creator. And the call to worship says, none is higher. Even Malcolm himself believed that there was something higher than even Malcolm X. It was his God, his creator. So we started that out respectfully before we just disassemble what we did, what we need to do. So, but this next piece, Sonny Stitt was one of his favorite sax players, and this kazoo is wonderful. It's an African-American made instrument from the 1860s. Right? He also got the, the right to the what? What does this look like? Submarine. So an African-American man invented the submarine. But this is not a saxophone, and I'm not Sonny Stitt. So I'm gonna play myself out. <laughs> but this next piece is in honor of um, Dr. Betty Shabazz. It's a tune called Along Came Betty. We'll let the band take it.
and music from our own schools and we sit back and do nothing. It's called marginalize the artist so that people don't listen to music like jazz music and think that they don't understand the music of the country, the foundation music is the blues. Everybody say, the blues is the roots. The blues is the root. Everything else is the fruit. From the blues comes jazz. From the blues comes R&B. Rock and roll, black people created. Country and western, for God's sake, black people created. Try to make the blues under the category of country western. You know, just have to tell people, listen, honor the people who built the country. The creator will honor you. Honor the people who built the country with free labor. The creator will honor you. He will heal your land. He'll heal our land.
creator does have a master plan. Nobody do it better than Malcolm. The day that he was assassinated, he actually came to Newark, New Jersey, and was on a radio show. I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Bernice Bass. Look up the great Bernice Bass. She was like the black female Walter Winch. I had the opportunity to spend a few holidays with her. We would talk. She never wanted to come to Miss Carrie Smith's house. Carrie would go and drag her because she was becoming more and more of a recluse. And, um, and so I asked her about that day. And that day, she said, you know, he kept calling multiple times, multiple times to the station saying how far away he was and to have somebody sort of waiting. And he also had some security people with him who later on turned out to be CIA agents. I don't know if you've ever seen a Netflix uh, documentary about who actually assassinated Malcolm X. But the people who were his his main bodyguards were part of the CIA. It's amazing. So we showed up to the station and he said, make sure you have milk. And she would always kind of rib him about, well, you don't like white people. Why well, always gotta have milk for you? And he would laugh and he'd say, no, that's not true. I'm, I'm now open to people who love God. And they had, you can actually get this final interview, and it was a big court thing for many years. Betty Shabazz wanted those copies, and Bernie felt like, well, they belong to me. Well, once you pass, and the folks who are handling your business next felt that it was wise historically to release those tapes. So look up Malcolm X's interview with Bernie's Bass out of the great city of Newark, New Jersey. I don't call Newark, just Newark is the great city because we need to build up our places and spaces and create dignity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some of the greatest cities in the world have come from that place. Sarah Bond, Louis, Louis, So, as far as Malcolm is concerned, I know as he got to a place and space of fear, when you get tired of being afraid from running from people who want to take your body and kill you, there's a place where you just want peace. And as he said, by any means necessary. Well, we're afraid that those means were not as we would have for him, being our hero. We'll have a little bit of creator's master plan because who knew that would be the last interview, the last day, the last moments. So here we are. Oh, no. 
I was a little girl watching Ed Sullivan, and these amazing women came out with muscular legs and hair down their back, partying in high heels. They did not take any prisoners, but this one queen, this one queen, well, you'll know exactly who it is. Uh-oh. <laughs> I know this is a jazz house, but we're going to pay tribute to this one. Regardless, 
you may be playing this, that, and the other, but blues is the roots. And we have wonderful that. Bobby said, now we are on the drum. Thank you so much, please. I'm on this new CD called Box Humana. And uh, along with JJ Lodesna and Janice who is with Manhattan Transfer. Box Humana, Bobby Sanabria's big band. And I think we're gonna be out at Central Park at the end of the summer with Jazz Mobile. Just keep an eyeball on everything we're doing and come along and be a part of the family. We're 99.9 the same genomes, right? So that means we are family, we are related. So on the count of three, can everybody say, Welcome to the family reunion. One, two, three. Welcome to the family reunion. That's what it's about. Bobby Sinabria. The wonderful, the amazing. Our birthdays are the exact same day, except for your party. And I'm older. Because I'm shorter. Tall people will kind of discount the whole. Short people run the world. <laughs> Isn't that right, Raul? Somebody told me he was the Minister of Information. Oh, <laughs> so please give a round of applause for the wonderful Dr. Melissa Slocum. <laughs>
remember, these are moments in time. Moments in time. Thank you.